Welcome to MultiTeach. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the features of the Lessons app home screen in Snowflake MultiTeach. To access the Lessons app in Snowflake MultiTeach, select the Lessons app icon from the Tools category of the Elementary or Secondary menu. This will lead you to the interface of the Lessons home screen. The default view is all represented by an icon in the center column. This example shows a setup for someone who's gathered and created a number of lessons for use with students of various grade levels. If you have not created or imported any lessons or lessons lists, your screen will appear with fewer items. In the column to the left, there is a search bar for locating lessons you have previously stored in lessons lists. The search bar is disabled if you have no lessons. There is a green button used to start the lesson creation process in MultiTeach. The next two buttons are for importing lessons and lesson lists save on your hard drive or other storage location. These features are useful when you have accumulated a number of lessons and lessons lists. The lessons that appear in the third column are represented by thumbnails in a scrollable list. Each thumbnail has a wheel icon that when selected opens the lesson in edit screen and a play button that opens the lesson in full screen mode. You can switch from different lists by selecting the name of the list from the column to the left. The lessons within that list will appear in the lessons list column. The first item in the second column is the community lessons button. Select this button to access the multi-teach lessons community search features at the top of the lessons list. If you know the name of a lesson or category, type it in the search box. Here I'm looking for lessons about colors. When I type in colors, all of the lessons on the MultiTeach Lessons community will appear in the Lessons List column if they meet the search criteria for the word color. When I select the green button in the center of the desired lessons thumbnail, it will download and save in the MultiTeach Lessons app. If I want to search for additional lessons, I can use the search filters located near the top of the third column to refine the search by age group, lesson type, subject, or country as needed. Here I'll use the age filters to access lessons for the preschool age range. Then I'll scroll to locate a lesson. Then select it for download and import by using the green icon in the center of the thumbnail. The lesson will now appear in the lessons list, ready for play or inclusion in a customized list. Each lesson that appears in the lessons list has a menu of options located to the right of its thumbnail. The first option provides quick access to the lesson's description. In this example, I've selected a lesson about the heart created by a teacher. From here, I can preview a video about the heart from the Khan Academy, view the curriculum standard codes, and follow the link to the Khan Academy site where related learning activities can be found. Note, you can make this lesson your own by opening it in edit mode and entering other standards, lesson objectives, and links. You can delete the lesson from this location, favorite so it appears in the multi-teach main menu, remove it from favorites, or open it in edit mode to make changes. There are four predefined lists that are always present in the top section of the second column, located above the custom lists of the MultiTeach Lessons home screen. The recently used list contains up to 10 of the last lessons that have been edited or played. The unlisted list contains all lessons you have not designated to be part of a custom list. The favorite list contains all lessons marked as favorites. Any lesson or lessons list that is favorited will appear in the favorite section of the MultiTeach main menu for easy access. When you search for and download lessons, they will appear in the all list in the MultiTeach Lessons home screen. The All list contains all of your lessons, including those you have not organized into customized lists. Removing a lesson from one of the four predefined lists will permanently delete the lesson from the file system. If you don't wish to keep a lesson, you can remove it by selecting the thumbnail and dragging it to the right side of the screen where a trash icon will appear. Customized lists are useful if you'd like to organize your lessons. You can create lists for lessons you'd like to use on different days of the week or for different topics, subjects, or difficulty levels. I can easily move a lesson into an existing customized lessons list by selecting the thumbnail and then dragging it to the list to release it. If I select the name of the list, all of the lessons in the list will appear in the main lessons list column ready for play. You also have an option to export the list. Select the green play list button at the bottom of the main lesson list column to play it. 
Lessons in lesson lists play in sequence, which makes them ideal for use in a digital learning station. There is an option to scroll through the lessons so they can be accessed out of sequence. To create a new lessons list, select the Create New List icon located in the upper part of the second column. Enter a title for the lessons list. Select the title to see the list in the main lessons list column. Each lessons list has a hidden menu, which can be accessed by selecting an icon to the right of its title. If you select Rename, you can enter a new name for the lessons list. You can select Add a Shortcut to add the lessons list to the Favorite section of the main multi-teach menu, or select Remove Shortcut to remove it. You can also export the lessons list from this menu and save it to your hard drive or other location to be shared with others. The other option is to select the Export List button at the bottom of the main lessons list to export it. You can use the Import Lesson and Import List buttons in the left column of the MultiTeach Lessons home screen to access lessons or lesson lists stored on your hard drive. The process is the same. The lessons will automatically be placed in your lessons list. If you already have content with the same name, you'll be asked to confirm the transaction. In this section, I'll provide a quick overview of how a lesson can be created from the MultiTeach Lessons home screen. Note, lesson creation details are covered in another set of tutorials and support information can be found on the online NuiTech user manual for your reference. In this quick example, I'll select the green Create Lesson button located in the left column. This leads to the Lesson Type Selection screen. I'll select Match and the Lessons Edit screen opens. From here, I can enter the title of the lesson's round and the lesson's title. I can set up content bars and move them. I'll select a few images from the online content gallery and enter the corresponding text. I'll add the garden background theme and then press the green play button to access the lesson. In this segment, I'll discuss the auto-sync feature in the MultiTeach Lessons app. This feature can come in handy if you work with lessons at your display's computer and also on a laptop or other device away from school. If you have Snowflake MultiTeach, you also have access to Lessons Online, the browser-based version of the Lessons app. With Lessons Online, you can access, play, and create lessons anywhere there is an internet connection. The auto-sync feature when activated will automatically update and sync the lessons you have in MultiTeach with your Lessons Online account. And any lessons you've created in Lessons Online will automatically be sent to your MultiTeach Lessons home screen lessons list. At the top of the left column is a box where you can sign into Lessons Online to activate the auto-sync feature. This is useful if you'd like to have the same lessons available to you in both lessons environments. Note, if syncing is activated, you'll need to wait until the syncing process has been completed before proceeding with the Lessons app. This has been an overview of the features of the Lessons app home screen in Snowflake MultiTeach. For more information, visit these links.